Hello, 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 and welcome back to another stream of Boo Meadow Plays. I am playing Tinykin today. Just making sure all of my Twitch stuff is saying all the things that it's supposed to say. Because that's important. But how is everyone today? in all the tags because my Xbox didn't want to do that to me today. However, here we go. Hopefully that worked. Yes, there we go. How is everyone today? So yes, we are jumping back in as Milo Dane playing Tinykin, the game where we play tiny little creatures. And we are trying to go beyond the house by building Ardwin's machine. Yes. So, we have two piece, three pieces already. We've found some artifacts. We've gone to the brewery. Okay. Now I know that there was a fighting ring over here, racing ring. So we can do a racing thing over here. Over here with Sikaru. Me is a childhood friend. When we were kids, he spent his time tinkering with gadgets with his mother. He was smarter when he came out as the egg than I am today. He's never been one to sit still. It's a shame he doesn't drink nectar. A glass of our latest vintage would surely help him chill out. Ah yes, we're brewing. We're brewing things. We have artifacts upstairs as well. I have no siblings. Mother once told me one child like me was enough. I think she meant to say that I am unique. You know, Prattle, you might be right, bud. You might be right. So this is all slowly going to be filled, I imagine. I know there's some things I missed back in here. Or transitor crossing. You know what? That's the crossing. Okay, yes. So my tinykin will wait for me in the rooms as well. Rid me. This way, my Ladane. Go through here as soon as you're ready. Oh, are we going back into Foliana Heights? This is where all the praying mantises were.
It's time to move forward, my Dane, but you can go back and continue exploring places we've already been, if you like. The path to Balnea is at the end of the flooded tunnel down there. Go through when you're ready. Oh. I know that I have to go back to the first room that we were in, where there were the shield bugs. The waters of Balnea. We have made it to the bathroom. Are you sure we did the right thing? I don't know. Not really. I must protect my constituent sleep no matter the cost, even if my soul be forfeit. It was really mean though. Good thing we're incognito. Without the objects, we hid the party is over and we should have peace for a time let's go home and rest shady dealings <sighs> see i love the platform design of this game look at it all master mylidane welcome I am the mayor of the Dung Beetle Pit. I learned that you were in Balnea for our component. I would like to hand it over to you right now, but I made a big mistake and I need your help. We have neighbours, the Silverfish, who live on the other side of the wall. They have a temperament that is very different from ours. They like to party, to make noise, to splash. Last night their antics kept my constituents up all night and almost flooded the place. With no other choice, I had to order the sabotage of the festivities to restore calm. Unfortunately, since then, the silverfish have been uncooperative. They are done with us, and I think they even borrowed the scissors of the city as revenge. Master Mylodane, I beg of you to help me make up for my mistake. There is a ventilation shaft up there that leads to their atrium. My assistant, Clorox, should be in the process of negotiating with them. Could you join her? Clorox. Clorox. I think that's where I came up. Release the light. <laughs> we have the little green ones. I thought I had landed on water. And normally when we land on water, it's usually not good. There are so many candles around this house that it, it is a fire, it is a slight fire hazard. I'm not gonna lie. Abundance. Thank you. My body is your temple, Ardwin. My love is my message. Dung 
beetles and silverfish living together in harmony. A strange cohabitation, isn't it? For some, the shadows hide from, from the world. For others, it's a playground to experience vice. More green. We have blue ones. These are new. What do you do, sir? Sleepy lazy. You, you met my cousin timidly. He was in Sancta a lot, you. Apparently the shield bugs are passing through there. He must have a full belly at least. Oh, we got some pink ones. I only asked for two. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. This is too much, I can't accept. Please take them. It would make me happy. No, no, it's far too generous of you. Take the bread rolls or I'll shove one in your face. Aww. I can love electricity. You should aim an electricity source at Okay, a conducting chain. Okay. Okay. Ha! Figured it out. There's a light shining in the darkness. Oh, my God. 
It's nice to... It's nice of you to come and talk to us. Many people call us disgusting. Dirty. However, it's because of our lifestyle that the house is kept clean. I mean, we have enough to eat thanks to these people. I'm not complaining. Master Mother Dame, this is more serious than we thought. If there's no party, there's nothing left for us to clean in the morning. Oh, uh, you're workaholics. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, they are workaholics. him and his little silver scales so much. The thought of him, as if hundreds of toothpicks were piercing me at the same time. Master Mylodane, my family is convinced that being around silverfish will only cause me trouble. Please take this gift from me. Jack is not a very good swimmer, so I thought of giving him a board as unsinkable as I love. Per Titanic reference. I need more pink ones before I can do this. Ardwin exactly? It's complicated. We don't really know. Ardwin is someone watching over us. That's why you need to say thank you. You understand? I don't know. Why don't we go see him in the cathedral at Sanctor? Ardwin is kind. He helps all. Whether they sit in a great cathedral to pray or pray at home in their room. Oh, uh, well, I guess. Thanks, Mr. Ardwin. Thanks for being kind to everyone. Okay, so nothing else that way. Your favorite food, my dear, McCrabs for a change. Daddy, Daddy, someone's in here. Oh, Maladin. You want a McCrabs too? Here, this is the last one. The restaurant that sells them is on the atrium side. Daddy, we have to eat. Stop feeding all the strangers who come by our house. We'll all end up skinning. You're right, little one. I'm just being too scu generous. Master Maladin. I'll have to keep this delicious McCrabs, but help yourself to the pollen if you wish. I want to help you in your quest.
Pompadour doesn't bother sending dissonance here. We don't really need them. There's nothing of value to steal. And not much to see or do. I like the shadows of the pit, but I wish Grandpa Purita, pu part of Pupe, would let me see the world outside one of these days. I believe you should see the world. Master Myladane, what an honour to meet you. I am only the humble pitman. I take care of serving everyone with good fresh water. Speaking of which, you didn't dirty the water by going through the bowl, did you? I think we did. I apologise. I still don't think I have enough pink. No, I'm one short. Which means I need to find more. The echo of this place. It's like it's possessed. up from here. Can only go up. Okay, well if all I can go is up, let us go up. pink where are we taking this They can't go any further. That's problematic. Alright, we'll go up and eventually we will unlock this door. Ha 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 ha. Hit. 
finally my turn to clean up. Well, I'm glad you get to clean up. I sent a big change coming. Usually the tiny can lie dormant in their eggs. Since you arrived, they've been hatching and following you, all excited. With great power comes great responsibility. Try to be careful with these little creatures, will you? I will do my best, Banker. first because you know this is easier. <laughs> All the way to the floor. Handy handy. We like that. this gold too. With all this toilet paper, it is slightly, ever so slightly disconcerting how much, uh, yeah, it is slightly disconcerting about how much fire is around the place. Yes. Yes, we got all the pollen. Love that. Love that. Go down the drain. Do that in a minute. We found a letter. I have no idea what to say. I'm sorry. You should probably cut this dialogue short. I'm worried it might bore you. Well, thank you for thinking of us, I guess.
How do I get up there? That is the question. under here? No. Because we haven't actually found where the post box is yet. Okay, let's drop him down to the toilet bowl. Hello, Tide Runner. And this game, it is kind of autosave until I quit the game, so I will have to do that then. We are running around as Mylodane in the bathroom. The fact is, they're going to take this pole on. And they're going to turn it into beverages. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Where are you going to? Yes! the jumping puzzles. Release the Tinykin.
Climb, climb, climb. Yes. Woo, jumping, no falling. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's the way this game works. Uh, if you get infuriated watching people do jumping puzzles, this may not be the game for you uh, because I am not the most adept at jumping puzzles. And the little green things that I'm standing on climbing. Oh, that angle I don't like. So these little green things and little pink things and blue things that are following me, they are the tiny kin. See, and sometimes perspective is hard. I can't actually see if I'm jumping far enough. You know what? Let's do that. Where does this need to go to, though? Ah. Okay, that puts that down there. Okay. So now. Like more tiny again. Opens the shutter. Yes. Perfect. I knew those little zappy fellows could help us. Clorox should be through this passageway. Let's hope you can find some way to help me. We can't let these poor people suffer. We also need those scissors of the city. Windy. It, it beeping windy. Ooh, there's a spa. All right, all right, all right. See, I love the design of this, the levels of this game. Yup, it whimdy. We are truly very sorry, and we would hope that... No, nah, not cool. Not cool at all, dude. Master Milodane, has Pater Pupa explained the situation? We've always gotten along, and here you are, killing the mood because of a few decibels. It's over, dude. We don't want any more dung beetles in the atrium. The festivities in the atrium absolutely must start up again, but the silverfish are at the end of their rope, and someone took the scissors of the city. Here are the organisers, I think. Would you by any chance mind having a word with them? We can do that. Wimdy! Glow sticks! Yeah. 
letters. Uh, uh. Hi, Spinner. Yeah, no, I really, I've really, really been enjoying Tinykin. Uh, jumping puzzles are not always my strong suit, as you probably realise by watching the game. Nothing is my strong suit <laughs> when it comes to video games. But I've actually been really enjoying this. We are trying to get some dung beetles and silverfish to get along. Currently. Because they have a component that we need for our machine of Arduin. I am of the belief that Arduin is the human that lives in this house. Lived in this house. Not sure what happened to them. But I really love the platform designs of this game. They are very pretty. That's awful. Vince has got it into his head that he's gonna restart the party by recreating the greatest song ever. He has to stop. I do think. I think. I think it's a sink. A sink, I think. That's it's a sink. Think, think, sink, sink. Yes, the power of Arduin. Uh, there are several things that are very concerning about the uh, way that they have designed these rooms. There's a lot of candles, for one. Uh, the previous room, the toilet. Uh, yeah, the previous room? It was a lot of toilet paper with candles everywhere. It's a fire hazard, I swear. Exactly. And then we've got the Tinykin, who, uh, the blue ones conduct electricity. They're, apparently they love it. They're really sleepy until their brains are being fried. Not sure what to make of that. We started the air conditioner fan thing. Listen to their little brains frying. I'm concerned. So the pink ones are strong. Um, do we go up or down? Yeah, the pink ones are super strong. The red ones blow things up. There are green ones, uh, which where does this need to connect to? There are green ones that let you climb higher. Like that. We collect the pollen because they brew the pollen and uh, one of the byproducts of the pollen is these little soap bubbles that I float around in. Which is super duper helpful when I need to get around to places. And just so the actual design, level design, is super creative.
Oh, so this guy has a lot of bugs that like live in his house. Ever since the music stopped, it's like I've got someone whistling in my ears. Is that normal? Uh, yeah, so you do collect, uh, you do collect more Tinykin along the way, but they won't follow you from room to room. So you do collect new Tinykin with every room. Ah, uh, apparently I need laser or something for that one. Okay, we'll go. First of all, we'll go back this way and go down. Also, uh, water and I are not friends. It will make me explode. I assume I will just straight up drown if I was to try and... If I was to land in that huddly bathtub. So we're not going to do that. Mainly because I don't really want to be electrocuted. Tiny can just kind of follow me around and uh, they are able to jump pretty high distances. This is rid me. I know there was electricity over here. Cottonelle? Yeah, I guess we did cover everything in the water the other night. If they wanted their pit to stay dry, they should have used triple ply. Rude. Okay, so I'm going to have to link something back to there, but where is the outlet for? Wait. The outlet is back this way.
Yeah. So we started the music up again. Not making any music though. Got all of the pollen. Just keeping an eye on the time. Hooray! Anything around the side? Yes! See, all of these little blobs are basically Tynakin. So we basically go search everything to find every potential little Tynakin blob we can find. Oh, we have another thief. Been a thief in every room so far. Okay, what do you want, buddy? Are you judging me? It's the mask, right? Bah. Gotta eat to live, gotta steal to eat. Paladin? Really? Well, you can help me change that. Some weirdo gave me a tip. At the other end of this press, one can find a priceless treasure. A gem, but the press is closed. We need to turn it on and be able to glide for at least four bubbles to handle it. I can only glide three at the moment. You have no use for such a gem, but I'll swap it for something. How's that sound? I will indeed need to... I can't glide for four bubbles, but I know that I need to go back into the first room. To do the same thief kind of quest. Hey! Yes, so to complete it I'll need to be able to do four bubbles. Cannot do four bubbles at this point in time. However... Okay, so that takes me up there, which will get me all that pollen. Which is where we came in. Best time ever on the getter. <laughs> We're gonna have the best time ever on the radio. The longer the party, the louder you turn it up until everyone is deaf. Nobody wants a party around a boring swimming pool. We need bubbles, man, and the bubble bath has disappeared. I mean, there's a bottle of bubble bath over the bath, but. Just thinking about climbing up there is giving me a stitch. Yo, it's boiling down here. This is perfect. Tourists will be storming the bar. Yeah. 
Grandma, what is this? A bathtub with no yacht? You might as well throw a party in a puddle. We need to get the yacht so jet setters can come back. How am I supposed to get the party started without my laser? The dung beetles headed up on that closet tower. I'm an artist, not a rock climber. Okay. So we've got a whole heap of things we need to do. But... That is where I am actually currently at for the day. So... With that in mind... That will save the game for me. So, we will be back next week with more Tinykin. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, it's always wonderful having you here. Tinykin is a really, really fun game too. So, uh, otherwise, if you want to see more gaming, join me on Tuesday to see if I can get through Lost in Random because I'm in the middle of a boss battle and I'm hoping that I can get through that. So... Uh, without slogging through it. But we will see. It might be an hour of me trying to slog through a boss battle. Who knows? We will see. Either way, I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening or night, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you all again on Saturday night for more map building if you are joining me. Or if not, I will see you next Tuesday. Otherwise, have a wonderful night, wonderful day, wonderful weekend. And I will see you all later. Bye.